Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Uh, today I just wanted to make a little video to show you how to get these tails um, at the beginning and end of your words in Cricut Design Space. I see a lot of questions asked about how to get those and it's really simple. You just need a font manager. So what that is, um, I'm over here now on Creative Fabrica. I absolutely love this site, guys. I talk about them all the time. If you watch any of my videos, you, you have for sure heard about me talk about Creative Fabrica. Um, the font manager here is free. You do have to sign up. Um, so just, you know, when you come over here, this will give you um, a sign up. I already have an account, so it's that. But um, sign up for free. Just put in your email, and they create your free account. Um, and that's all you have to do. And then you can come here to Tools, and you can go to Font Cloud. And it takes just a minute to open. I think the more fonts you have in it, the longer it takes. Um, you can upload any font you want into this font cloud. Um, it's totally free to do. If you have a font on your computer, you can put it over here. You can see all the ones that I have uploaded over here. Um, so what this does is this gives you a quick glance at your fonts. So you can pick out you know, what you want for your project for this one. I have the word family and I can see what that word is going to look like in all the different fonts that I have. Let's see. I used this font here, Stella Wilson. So to get the tails before and after, you're going to click into your font and then you notice right here it says turn PUA highlights off or on. We'll leave them on because it's going to highlight all those extra characters. So you're like, okay, yes, all this is normal. I have all this. Here's your extra characters. This is what you don't get if you're just typing in. Like if you're over here in Cricut, like I did this. I just typed family in in that Stella Wilson font. This is, this is what it's going to look like. But I want this. So here I am in my font manager. It's going to show you all of the different ligatures and tails and everything that you can add. I mean, it's not only these hearts. This one has um, tails on the uppercase letters, which is not normal. Most of them don't provide that. Um, if you don't want hearts, you've got your squiggles. It has alternates for um, connected letters. Like if you're connecting two G's together, um, you know it resizes them so it looks a little more natural, like natural handwriting rather than you know an exact duplicate copy of each other. The same thing with THST. It's put them together for you in different formats just to look a little more natural. Okay, so for this one, I used, first of all, I'm going to type my word up here. There's family. That's what it looks like without any tails. Now I'm going to come down and I'm going to get the front tail for my F, which is this one right here. All I do is click it, and it copied it to my clipboard. you see that? So now I'm just going to delete that F. Control V, I'm pasting in, and I've got the F with the heart. Then I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to find the Y. Let's see, I need the Y at the end. Where are you? Here it is. That copied. Delete that Y. Paste in the Y with the heart. And that is what family will look like. So now I've got a good idea. That's what I'm going to want in my project. So I'm going to come over to Cricut. I'm going to delete this and just retype it for you. Text, type in family. Okay. I'm going to move this one out of my way. Bring this one up. Make it bigger so you can see what's going on here. Okay, the last thing I copied to my clipboard was that Y. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. I'm going to um, double click into it so I've got my text again. Delete the Y, Control V to paste the Y with the heart. Awesome, there it is. Now I'm going to come back down here. I'm going to go get the F again because it's not copied to my clipboard anymore. Where was it? Here it is. Just click it and it copies again. Come back into here, delete my F, Control V. There it is. There's the family that I wanted. Um, down here, I've just moved them all closer together. So what you do here, 
highlight the word. I don't know why it isn't working for me. Okay, come to your letter spacing. Start with zero. Just put that at zero and see if it gets you close enough. It is not quite close enough. So I'm going to bump it down little by little. They're getting closer. Okay, that's as close as I want to go because if I keep doing it, the A is going to overlap the M and the M will overlap the I. But these aren't where I want them to be. So at this point, I'm going to ungroup, click my Y, and just move it over a smidge. And now it's perfect. It's right where I want it to be. Highlight all of that. Weld it together. There's my word. Yay. It's that simple. That's all you got to do. So just head to Create a Fabrica. Um, put your fonts in. Uh, let me show you how to do that. Um, I get some questions on that too. So you're going to come to Browse. And I have a folder of all fonts. Here we go. So these are fonts that I actually have already uploaded. Um, I won't be able to do it again, but I can show you how it would look. Um, <clears throat> I'll just take this one. So this is a font that I've uploaded to my computer. You have to pull it out of, if when you download your font on your computer, it's going to come in this zip file. You have to, you know what, let me just start from scratch. Forget that. Let me show you all the cool fonts that Creative Fabrica has. Okay, so here I am back at the beginning of Creative Fabrica. I wanted to do this so that you can see from start to finish how to put a font in here. I'm going to come to Fonts, Script and Handwritten. Um, I don't want to download a font that I'm not actually going to use. So let me just kind of scroll through here and see if there's anything that catches my eye. Not really. Okay, I'm just going to have to put something in for the sake of time. Uh, all right, let's try this butterfly. It's not exactly my favorite, but... And it tells you this is a font duo. So you're going to get the script font and a print font. If you kind of click through, it'll show you some of the different things you'll get with it. And it also tells you that it's PUA encoded. So that way you know you're going to have some extra characters that aren't available without a font manager. Okay, download. There it is, downloading right there. Okay. So here it is. When you download it, it is going to be in um, a zip folder. You have to take it out. You're going to get different things here because it was a font duo. So you're going to get the bold in OTF and TTF, the sans in OTF and TTF, and the script in OTF and TTF. Um, if you clicked back through all those pictures, you would see the difference in each one of those. I'm going to do the script just to show you how to upload it. And you always want to choose OTF. So you can right click, copy and paste this to your um, to your desktop or you can just drag it to your desktop. Okay, it came right here for me. There's the file that I'm going to put in. So I'm going to come back to the font manager here to font cloud. Open the font manager. And give it a minute. That's the worst part of this. If you're in a hurry trying to get your get your characters in. You have to sit there and wait for the font cloud, but it is well worth it. Okay, so now I'm going to browse. I'm going to go find that file. I don't even remember. Butterfly, butterfly. Where are you, butterfly? I really should have planned this out better. There it is, right there. Okay, click it. Open. And there it goes. It is uploading somewhere in here. Let me refresh this and we'll be able to see it. It's still working on its refresh here. There we go.
Is it not called Butterfly? What a, am I losing my mind? Hello, Butterfly. <laughs> okay, yes, losing my mind. Okay, so let me come down here. H, hello, Butterfly script. There it is. So now it's in my font cloud, and that's how you do that. Let's see what it has. Oh, look at all these. Whoa, it gets super fancy. All right, that's uh, it's a lot of stuff there. Look, it just keeps going. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, go get this font. Look at all this stuff you have. That's something else. Um, with Creative Fabrica, if you sign up for a membership, you can get um, unlimited fonts, like as many as you want to download for free. So it's awesome. I suggest doing that, too. I'll link to all of that. Um, but anyways, that's, that's how it works. That's how you get your tails on all of your stuff. Alrighty, guys, that's all I have. See you next time.